Hi everybody, it's Angie, it's so crazy. I just wanted to give you guys all a quick um, how-to on these face masks that we're making. We've had an overwhelming response today, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, so I'm gonna give you like a quick run through um, because a lot of people have said that they're more visual. I get it, I am too. Um, let me go ahead and show you here. We are gonna start with um, the adult mask. And the adult mask size is a nine by six inch piece. And what I'm doing, I have two pieces here. And then I'm doing a piece of flannel in the center. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm putting my um, two pieces here back to back. And then I'm putting my flannel piece, excuse the wrinkleness, but you know what, it's gonna be hidden, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, and then we're going to take our piece of elastic, which is seven inches, and I'm gonna pull this back here. And we are going to attach that, and make sure that your piece is flat. We're gonna keep these flat. And I'm gonna take a pen for right now and just pin this, just because I'm showing you guys, usually I don't do this, um, but since I'm showing you how to, I'm gonna pin that. So you see how the elastic goes to the corner and then we're going to continue to the other side over here and I'm keeping this all flat and putting this other piece to this other corner here and I'll go ahead and I'll pin this part as well maybe go through I'm not really using the proper pins either but this is just kind of a quick run through because I've had so many people ask um, how to do this I'm going to go to the machine here and get set up so I will meet you over there in just a second Okay, so now I'm getting ready to sew my piece together and I have my two pieces that are right sides together. I have my elastic that is attached at both short sides and having it lay flat when I am putting it in to my center piece here. And I went ahead and I pinned those to the uh, corner pieces right at the corner there. And then I am putting a piece of flannel in that will be on the, um, the back side there. So we are going to go ahead and um, start stitching this. Um, I'm starting about halfway in to the uh, center of the piece so that we have room to be able to um, turn it inside out when we're um, all ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Sew this about a quarter inch and I apologize I am just trying to do this very quickly um, so that you guys can see exactly how this is done so I'm going to do this and I'm going to the end where the let me get that pin out um, for my elastic piece and I come down here to the center part and I am going to turn it and sew down to the other side here and that's capturing my piece of elastic. I'm going to go ahead and pull this other pin out here because it's making my fabric kind of stretch. And hold on just a second here. Technical difficulties. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and sew this all the way down to here. And pivot that one. And really these don't take very long at all um, I mean you can get them wiped out really quick um, especially after you get the hang of it 
they go really, really fast. Um, mine is kind of crazy at the moment. Just because I'm trying, at least I'm not holding on. Thank you, Tim, for holding the uh, camera there to take the pictures and um, all that good stuff. And... Here and here. So that I'm able to capture my elastic at that end as well. And then I'm back to my beginning, but I'm going to leave about, you know, about two inches, I'll say. And that way I can turn it right side out here. And you will want to uh, press these. I am not going to press this at this moment. I'm just trying to do it so I can show you because everybody is like how do I do this how do I make that um, and real quick while I'm folding this out um, if you are wanting to make a child size which I have been told that the pediatric unit is in desperate need as well and the size on those would be seven and a half by five um, whereas the adult size again is nine by six and they're just rectangle pieces. And so here I have pulled these out. Um, again, you would want to press these, right? And I am going to just pin this here so when I get ready to go around, I will have that done. Um, probably doing it backward right now, but okay, that'll hold that. And so now we want to make the pleats at the side and all I do on that, and you want these to go the, the same direction on both sides. So what I'm doing is I am just picking it up, okay? And I am putting like a, a little pleat right there on the end, okay? And then I am going to do another little pleat right here. It's all you're doing is you're just bunching this up and we're gonna do this three times. And um, hold on, I'll be right back with you. Let me get that all taken care of so you're not having to watch me do that. And um, then we'll get ready to sew around the entire thing. Okay guys, so now I have my piece all pinned. So if you look at this, I have, I've made three pleats in here um, on both sides and I have them going the same direction. When I say that, see the fold is facing down on this side and the fold is also facing down on this side here, okay? Um, and so now you will go ahead and you will stitch all the way down, all the way around, the entire thing until you get back to the beginning and just be careful with your pins and when going over your pleated areas they are much thicker so you may want to kind of slow your machine down a little bit when you're doing that okay so we're gonna go ahead here um, and again this is all about a quarter inch and don't forget your pins um, pulling those out when you get to the area that you are getting ready to go over, right? So we're gonna go over that one. And, and you wanna try to keep this going straight. It will want to curve on you, but you want to try to keep it straight if at all possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue going all the way around this piece and make sure that you grab that um, elastic piece again just for that extra hold and just take this all the way around the entire piece and I'll be right back with you. And here we go. We have a finished face mask. All nice decorated 
And um, who wouldn't be happy to wear that, right? In such troubled times. This will be fun. And it's on both sides. And then they have the flannel piece on the inside. Um, we have had people say that it needs to be 100% cotton just through and through. We've had people say that it needs to be flannel and cotton. Um, and so when it's all said and done, I have been told that they will take whatever they can get, that um, it is all... It, it's all good. So just whatever you've got, just whip it up. Bring them in here to So Crazy, and our address is 5520 25th Street. Um, you can call us at 812-418-8200 um, to let us know that you're bringing them by. And we have people that will come and pick them up from us and take them and deliver where they need to be going, okay? So uh, we appreciate all your help. If anyone needs any fabric, I have lots of fabric from my own personal stash that I have been handing out all day today uh, to be able to go and um, toward this cause. So um, if you need anything, let me know. Uh, the hard thing is trying to get the elastic. Um, and just remember that the elastic is seven inches. Um, the adult size is nine by six rectangle and the child size is seven and a half by five. And uh, thank you very much and happy sewing everybody.